Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making an under the sea themed set of resin coasters. I had this fabric laying around from when I made jellyfish, and if you're interested in watching that video, I'll leave a link above. I wanted to put the fabric to use, so I decided to cut out little fish. I mentioned this in my Instagram post, but as soon as I cut them out, I was reminded of the book The Rainbow Fish. After I mixed my part A and part B resin together for a few minutes, I separated it into smaller cups to add in my pigments. The first pigment I'm going to be using is Depon's Alcohol Ink in the shade Intense Teal. I add a couple of drops into my cup of resin and mix it all together. Then in a smaller cup, I mixed in some of Depon's alcohol ink in the shade River Blue. And I start by pouring the intense teal pigmented resin into the molds. I rotate between pouring often to do my best of making sure that there is an equal amount in each mold. Then I poured in a little bit of clear resin as well. And I use the mixing stick to help spread and blend the resin. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products that you see in this video, make sure to check out my description. I'll leave links to each product. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and I'm careful not to have it in one place for too long so that I don't burn my resin or my molds. Then I take my small cup of River Blue alcohol ink and I use a wooden stick to add small amounts into the molds. I guess there was still too much movement within the resin because the next day when I demolded it, all of the colors blended together into one. Now I'm going to be adding in what I'll be using to sort of imitate a coral reef. So I have some pink and green grass. I'm breaking the grass into smaller pieces because they come in large clumps. And then carefully with tweezers, I add it into the resin. I use a thin wooden stick to make adjustments to their placement. And once the wooden stick is dipped into the resin, it easily picks up the grass. So I continued with the wooden stick instead of the tweezers. Then I went back to the tweezers to easily pick up my little fish and carefully place them within the resin. And I came back the next day after this layer has hardened. As you can maybe tell, some of the fish's placement has moved from where I left it. I should have checked up on it one more time after I left. But it still looks okay, so I'm just going in now with scissors to trim some of the areas where the grass is sticking up. So that it's not sticking up too much and I'll be able to cover it with another layer or two. Then with a white acrylic marker, I started to draw some bubbles. I mix up a small amount of resin once more, just to seal everything in.
and here I am demolding the next day. After demolding, I used a large X-Acto knife to scrape off some of the lifted edges. And I did add a top coat, I'll leave a video linked above if you're interested in seeing how we do that. Then with a gold adding marker, I added a gold trim just on the top side of the coasters. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.